What's cracking, yo? Welcome back to Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking? Came across this Larry Bird video. I don't know how I have not stumbled upon this video yet. Um, Larry Bird, 50 amazing assists. Now, I've seen my fair share of Larry Bird assists since starting this channel, um, passing clinic videos, whatever, whatever it may be. And I'm excited to get into this. I'm sure there's some common highlights here, but if I could get just one, if I could get even one Larry Bird assist that I haven't seen yet, I'd be happy with that. But I, I expect some crossover. But Larry Bird's passing ability and his assists, his passing skills are so obnoxiously legendary that I don't care seeing them over and over and over and over again because it's just like every time you watch a Larry Bird assist especially the stylistic ones it's like you've seen it for the first time that's the type of emotion it, it pulls out of you pulls out of me I don't know about you I'm sure it pulls the same out of you too I could watch it a million times over again just be like oh my god my god Larry Bird, my opinion, a at his size, at six foot ten, I don't think there's there's a better passer in the history of the league that I can think of. And at his position, you know, Magic, I consider Magic, I, even though he was large, I consider Magic a point guard. He played point guard normally. Bird was played forward, but had point guard abilities and would run the offense at times but didn't dominate the ball so people would normally say lebron james is the best you know passing shooting forward of all time small forward not shooting forward small forward of all time hell no it's larry, it's larry legend baby larry's passing is on a whole nother level is on another level than bronze sorry anyway i'm gonna shut up i've ranted on too long in my opening remarks let's uh check the video out you gotta love to watch Larry Bird in action because he makes the game so beautiful. It's my favorite, one of my favorites. Oh, what a show! Ooh, I haven't seen that oh, one. How did he do that? Bird comes out on the move, dishes to Malone. Malone comes up, stayed with it, sick over the head. Infamous cat pass. He does that so casually. <laughs> it's so casually. Love that pass to the day I die. That is so difficult. Mikel had that post game, baby. Left hand. Yo, Larry do that to you. There's the play of the game right there. Give me that. <laughs> Give me that. Coming and look at the pass to Mikel. Isn't that beautiful? Nice. Oh, it's hell of a bounce pass. Ooh, that's trusting your teammates right there. Jesus Christ. How he gets that pass through without them able to intercept it is nuts. Give me that ball, boy. <laughs> I'm going to pause real quick. I love when Larry, they think they got the rebound and they about to head the other way. Look, give me that shit. I ain't, I ain't done here. Give me that shit. Simple drop off. <laughs> Good hands by Mikel. Bob was a little. Oh. Now that's a steal by Bird. Underneath the DJ. 
Whenever I hear my boy Johnny, bad, bad with the amazing pass, bad with the snow, bad with the pass, and DJ, DJ up, oh, what a miraculous play, bad with the DJ connect, oh, the arena's on fire, bad, this is amazing, folks. It's my boy, rest in peace. Right up, one second left. What a play by Bird. Bird stole the inbounding pass. Laid it up to DJ. DJ laid it up at him. And Boston has a one point lead. Oh, my, the fight is going crazy. He understood how to get Kevin and Robert shots and Cedric Maxwell. And he also knew when any of these individuals were not getting enough oh, shots. Oh, he played them. He played the hell out of them. And he'd make a concerted effort. <laughs> To get them involved. No, that was Girl, sick. So defensive attention. Jeez. Okay, okay nice defense. footwork, spin move, and a crossover. I see you. Bird with the pass to the legs of Sigma. Oh, Lee Brown's got worthy in a switch. Good look. Oh, wow. Bird to pass. Vintage Larry Bird. Behind the back to Tiny. There's a couple I haven't seen. I'm happy. There's a couple here I haven't seen. There we go. Freaking Tom Brady style, bro. Brett Favre style. Bird on the left side. Bird goes behind the back, down the lane, dumps it over the shoulder to carry six for her guard. Oh, and then Bird goes inside. Out of the corner. Oh, Damn. Seconds. Bird. Slap pass to Archibald. And he's left open, looking for three. Bounce. Bird. Nice tip. Left hand. Guided that joint to him. Oh, sick. Back. He's been hot. Not this time. Bird tipped it to Kite. You know. Lays it in. Dennis Johnson's right corner shot is missed. Rebound tipped off to Perry's from Bird who hits the shot. Oh, Miller's doing a pretty good job on Bird. Bang. He misses again. Look at that pass. Bird, Dockage and Parrish, of course, in the middle. Parrish, three for two. <sighs> Tell you what, man. You know what? Oh, what a pass Brother. to Parrish. Rather, I got something to say after this. My brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters, I got something to say after this. On the floor, Bird always on the floor. To in the lane. Nice. The Step through. Shoot. One reason I love God, Larry Bird's an amazing passer. I can't say it enough, man. I think Magic Johnson's the greatest passer of all time. And I, I think, uh, man, Larry's got to be. He, he top three. I'd have to think about it if I want to put him second or third. I'd have to sit down and think about it, but I'm not going to do that now. Um, what, what really is amazing, like, we all know Larry Bird is playing chess out there, and everybody else is playing checkers. Larry Bird sees the game differently than most players ever did in the history of the league. You know, any given play, he's already steps ahead of the defense as far as what's going to happen and honestly he's probably even steps ahead of some of his teammates but they know to have the hands ready because they know the type of passer bird is and he's gonna find you so everybody need to be ready at all times but what i'm saying is you know you got people that make passes and nothing wrong with this but i'm just saying that how it's different you know this guy has the ball he's dribbling he's dribbling he makes a nice pass he gets the assist but i think sometimes what's even harder than that is the guy that makes the assist from the guy that got the hockey assist, right? So let's just say player A running a fast break passes to Bird. Now there's a there's another variable. There's another player on the on the court. Um, what does I say? Player A, Bird being player B, and the finisher being player C. But Bird sees everything ahead of time, right? So when the hockey assist guy passes it to Bird, I'm sure pretty defend much of the defenders probably think, okay, well either Bird's gonna shoot or Bird's gonna dribble, dribble, dribble a little bit and then maybe pass or shoot. But Bird already knows what's gonna happen. He knows if he's gonna he's gonna give it to the guy 
player C to finish, or you never know, pass it back to the other guy where he got the assist from. But in that situation, if you notice, when the when the hockey assist guy passes it to Bird, he is quick. The minute he touches the ball, it is hot potato to the finisher. Hot potato. Hot potato. And he gives the defenses no time to even process what's going on or even try to re set up any kind of defensive stance. The minute Bird touches that ball, it is a tap pass. It is a guiding pass. It is maybe at most one dribble pass, but he's making a quick decision. And before Bird gets that goddamn ball from the hockey assist guy, Bird already knows what he's going to do, where that pass is going to be, and where that player is going to be. And it, it that is so hard to do. And it comes with trusting your teammates and understanding your teammates and them understanding you or at least being ready, knowing the type of passer that you are to be ready to catch that ball and to finish. But it is something to be said about his ability to hot potato that ball right where it needs to be. And now the defenses, if they were scrambling before, now they're really scrambling. That's hard to do. That's hard to do. And he does it on a consistent basis with his passing skill. Some people are just, they're just so, when they get the ball, they have to dribble. They have to dribble, and then they have to find the pass. But Bird, playing chess, steps ahead. It's like, nah, I'll get in this situation. I'm reading the defense. The best thing to do is hot potato this ball quickly. And you're wondering how it's whizzing right past his defender's head, whizzing right past their hands, right past their arms, and they can't even react to it in time. Because Bird doesn't give them time to react to it. By the time they process what happened, player C is already finishing. That is hard to do. Hard to do. Anyway, that's all I got to say about it. Larry Bird, phenomenal passer. Glad I got to see some new highlights with this one. Y'all let me know what you think about it. You know, shed any any um, context, shed any knowledge on me. Um, I'll be willing to uh, love, love getting into the comment section and reading what y'all say, man. Appreciate you. Be blessed. Take care out there. Be safe. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. Stay notified. Spread the word. We out here. Mad love to all the players. We out, baby.